Coagulopathy, Wikipedia article audio. A bleeding disorder is a condition that affects the way the blood clots. It is characterized by prolonged slash excessive bleeding following injury or medical and dental procedures. In some instances spontaneous bleeding can occur into joints, muscles, or other parts of the body. Irregular clotting can be due to deficiencies and defects in blood platelets and slash or clotting factors. The body produces 13 clotting factors. Blood clotting is affected if any of the clotting factors are deficient or defective. Bleeding disorders can be inherited or acquired. Others can occur from conditions such as anemia, cirrhosis of the liver, HIV, leukemia, and vitamin K deficiency. They also can result from certain medications that thin the blood, including antiplatelet and anticoagulant medications. Signs and Symptoms Mechanism Examples of inherited bleeding disorders include hemophilia A, hemophilia B and von Willebrand disease. Bleeding disorders can be acquired due to antiplatelet and anticoagulant medications that are taken for the prophylaxis and treatment of medical conditions such as atrial fibrillation, deep vein thrombosis, stroke, pulmonary embolism, and heart attack. Examples of these medications include aspirin and clopidogrel, warfarin, and novel oral anticoagulant medications such as rivaroxaban, apazaban and dabigatran. Coagulopathy may cause uncontrolled internal or external bleeding. Left untreated, Uncontrolled bleeding may cause damage to joints, muscles, or internal organs and may be life-threatening. People should seek immediate medical care for serious symptoms, including heavy external bleeding, blood in the urine or stool, double vision, severe head or neck pain, repeated vomiting, difficulty walking, convulsions, or seizures. They should seek prompt medical care if they experience mild but unstoppable external bleeding or joint swelling and stiffness. The normal clotting process depends on the interplay of various proteins in the blood. Coagulopathy may be caused by reduced levels or absence of blood clotting proteins, known as clotting factors or coagulation factors. Genetic Disorders such as hemophilia and von Willebrandt's disease, can cause a reduction in clotting factors. Anticoagulants such as warfarin will also prevent clots from forming properly. Coagulopathy may also occur as a result of dysfunction or reduced levels of platelets. PT and PTT are good tools to check for coagulopathies. Diagnosis if someone has coagulopathy, their health care provider may help them manage their symptoms with medications or replacement therapy. In replacement therapy, the reduced or absent clotting factors are replaced with proteins derived from human blood or created in the laboratory. This therapy may be given either to treat bleeding that has already begun or to prevent bleeding from occurring. One area of treatment is managing people with major bleeding in a critical setting, like an emergency department. In these situations, the common treatment is transfusing a combination of red cells with one of the following options. Treatment The use of trinexamic acid is the only option that is currently supported by a large, randomized, controlled clinical trial and is given to people with major bleeding after trauma. There are several possible risks to treating coagulopathies, such as transfusion-related acute lung injury, acute respiratory distress syndrome, multiple organ dysfunction syndrome, major hemorrhage, and venous thromboembolism. Critical Care Blood Plasma, Prothrombin Complex Concentrate Factor 13, and fibrinogen, 
fibrinogen with trinexamic acid.